Good morning. Good morning, Father. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Which chapter we have finished last time? Motion and time. Am I right? Yeah, now today we are moving to the next chapter, light. Okay, for examination, uh, you have to follow my notes. What I have discussed in notes, the type of uh, questions, problems, uh, numericals, what I have discussed, that's only you have to follow. No need of too much worry about it. Uh, yeah, basic concepts should be clear. That's why I have mm, dealt with basic concepts. So just believe my, uh, thoroughly follow my notes and just read textbook. Maybe for example, uh, I may ask questions from uh, textbook, may be included. Otherwise, it should be based on the notes because I have covered almost everything there. Okay. Uh, now I am going to the chapter light, chapter number 15 page number 174 you no need to open your textbook no need to open just follow my notes and be there the basics of this class will be very simple like the chapter is itself a symbol so you have two chapters for examination motion and time and the light up to what i taught how much i am teaching the here today that's the portion we have to so first definition of light what is the definition of light anyone can say what is light area yeah, yeah. okay in definition there are two concept light is a form of energy it's a form of energy which huh, Uh, helps to see. That's all. That's the definition of light. Light is a form of energy which helps to see or which makes sensation of vision. That is, uh, yeah. Second concept. We have started this class. Uh, where, where we reached? Reflection is finished. Okay, fine then. Okay, then I can move up. Okay, then we have discussed about rectilinear propagation, I feel, no? Rectilinear propagation, then reflection. Okay, good. I think so far we have finished. Okay, good, good, good. So, Reflection is over, then I am just uh, going to discuss about the next topic, lateral inversion, lateral inversion, lateral inversion. Do you know what about lateral inversion? Have you heard the term? Respond me. Yeah. Lateral inversion means if you just look into a mirror. So we have looking mirrors in our home. Uh, for makeup and all, we just uh, we see the face in a looking mirror. When we look at a mirror, we can see that if you raise right hand, right hand, if you raise right hand in the mirror, it should be left hand. Left hand. So, when we see an image in a plane mirror, its sides will be interchanged. Am I right? Yeah. That, proper, that property is known as lateral inversion. When we place an object in front of a mirror, plane mirror, the sides of image will be interchanged. That property is known as lateral inversion. When we place 
an object in front of a plane mirror plane mirror means flat mirror because we have plane mirrors spherical mirrors rounded mirrors different mirrors are there. that's why we are using plane mirror when we place an object in front of a plane mirror the sides of image not image image it is writing like image but image when we place an object in front of a plane mirror the sides of image will be interchanged this is known as lateral inversion are you clear yes okay 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 fine that's why in practical example we can see ambulance sometimes is written in front of the ambulance it is written opposite way the letters will be uh, just in the change from beginning to left to right so why when people are driving car or vehicle let them look at glass they can read ambulance properly because latin inversion will happen have you got it yes, yeah so latin inversion is the reason to write ambulance in opposite way in opposite way on vehicle so ambulance is written ambulance vehicles are written in opposite way because when we look into glass of mirrors of our vehicle we can read it properly that's a practical example we can see of lateral inversion okay then we move to next topic a real image image and virtual image that's a fifth topic real image and virtual image real image and virtual image okay you just take a plane mirror and just uh, show against sunlight and we can reflect the sunlight and the reflection will be uh, we can focus on a uh, wall or anyone's eyes have you done it have you done this activity okay. yeah just take a glass and uh, a play mirror just show in uh, sunlight so its reflection we can concentrate or focus on someone's face or wall have you got my point okay yeah it means the reflected image can be focused on a can be focused on a sunlight comes its image is form it is focused on a object or screen screen you got it screen okay yeah screen may be different it may be a wall maybe our face or our shirt wherever we want we can focus and we will get on a screen so i told sunlight comes a boy standing with a glass and he reflect and he will make it on others eyes or something he can focus on a screen if you can focus or if you can get an image on a screen such images are known as real images have you got my point yeah so real image means real image means 
images limits which can uh, obtain or focus on limits which can obtain on where a screen on a screen such images are known as uh, real images the images which can uh, focus on a screen or get obtain on a screen so what is virtual image what is virtual image very good the image which cannot be obtained on a screen virtual image virtual image virtual image the image which cannot obtain on a screen example when you look at a mirror you can see your image in uh, other side of mirror but can you focus that mirror on somewhere on a screen or not can you obtain that one on a particular screen we can see no no we can see it but we cannot focus on a screen or not you are using something some other techniques for it lens and all but normally when we watch when we look into a mirror image will form image is there but we cannot take that we cannot concentrate or we cannot obtain in a particular screen we can see it but we cannot uh, obtain we cannot reflect on a screen we cannot do that such images are known as virtual virtual image limits which cannot obtain on screen example example image forms in looking glass looking mirror image image forms in looking mirror are it clear yes okay okay then i am going to sixth point spherical mirrors spherical mirrors i just i am just clear this side spherical mirrors sixth point of chapter spherical mirrors so what can you understand when i say spherical mirror hmm what do you understand by the term spherical mirror anyone can pardon yeah the reflecting surface is come on the reflecting surface is circle ah uh, spherical in shape not circle spherical in shape so we have we have our mirror these are plane mirrors you are looking you know when i say this marked opaque area other part is reflecting area every mirror has two parts one shaded part is known as opaque surface which cannot pass light the other surface is known as reflecting surface not down a mirror has two surfaces a mirror has two surfaces one is opaque light won't be allowed to move other surface is reflecting from there light will be reflected are you clear okay so okay fine good 
So, spherical mirrors means the mirrors were reflecting surface. This opaque surface which is not allowing light to go other side. This is a reflecting surface so light will come back from here. The reflecting surface is spherical in shape. So, the mirrors, the mirrors which have, which have reflecting surfaces, reflecting surfaces, the mirrors which have reflecting surfaces in spherical shape. You got it? Okay. There are two types of spherical mirrors. So, spherical mirrors are of two types. So, two types of spherical mirrors. So, first one, concave mirror. Concave mirror concave mirror that's the first type of mirror are you following me yes, yeah I'm, I'm yeah I'm, I'm okay I'm moving a little fast I think you are following but it's a very simple concept that's why uh, concave mirror okay we have how many surfaces for a mirror two, two. one is opaque surface yeah, reflecting surface now I'm going to define I told there are two types of spherical mirrors first one concave mirror concave mirror means the reflecting surface is concave in shape the reflecting the mirror has the mirror which has the mirror which has reflecting surface in concave shape concave shape the mirror which has reflecting pardon uh, you just please write down along with me Yeah, the mirror which has reflecting surface in concave in shape, C O N C A V E, concave in shape. Is it clear? Means you have to understand what is concave in shape. What do you understand by concave in shape? Bulged in, bulged in. That shape is known as concave. The first surface is bulged in, curved in. That is known as concave in shape. So you can write down down concave means concave means bracket not bulged in or curved in. So if it is curved in, the reflective surface is curved in. It is known as concave mirror. Have you got it? The mirror which has reflective surface is in concave in shape. So, second type of uh, mirror, spherical mirror is, I told there are two types of spherical mirrors. First is concave mirror, second one convex mirror, B. Very good, very good, convex mirror. So, B type convex mirror. C O N V E X convex mirror. Convex, what is the me word meaning convex? Convex means what's the meaning? Concave means bulged in or curved in. Huh? Ah, yeah, bulged out or curved out. Very good. 
curved out. That's the meaning. Convex shape means bulged out or curved out. So, shape is like this. This is opaque surface, surface, opaque surface. This is reflecting surface. It is curved out, convex in shape or outward bulged, bulged out. Have you got it? So, we can write the definition, definition con convex mirror, the mirror, the mirror having, having the mirrors, the mirrors having, or the mirror having convex reflecting surface. The mirrors having convex reflecting surface in simple words. Otherwise, the mirror which has uh, reflective surface in convex in shape. Simply we can write the mirrors having convex reflecting surface. Here also simply we can write concave mirror, the mirrors which have which have which have which have the mirrors having concave reflecting surface. If you are writing in a detailed way or simple way, concept should be clear from the sentence. That is enough. Keep in mind, if the surface is concave in shape, it is concave mirror, means bulged in. If the surface is bulged out or curved out or convex in shape, it is convex mirror. I hope you are clear. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Then I think uh, that's over. Let me just check whether you have to learn about uh, uses or not. Okay, no, they are not too much giving about uses because we have detailed study about these convex and concave mirror in coming years. That is why there is no uh, theoretical explanation how it forms and all that we will learn next year. Uh, so, okay, that is why I think uh, that is about. Then sunlight. Yeah, they are just introducing uh, lenses also. Mirror, now, we just discuss about two types of mirrors like that we have uh, lenses. So, we can write the seventh point, sixth point we have discussed spherical mirrors. In spherical mirrors, there are two types of spherical mirrors. One is concave in shape, concave mirror, convex in mirror. So, after that we are going to spherical lenses. Uh, or you can write types of spherical lenses because you know you need, you know you need to study about what is lenses. It is coming in 9th standard. Leave it. So only introduction. Types of lenses. Types of lenses. Seven point. Types of lenses. That's enough for you. Can I move up? Yeah. Lenses are of lenses are of two types. There are two types of lenses. Two types. The first one is convex lens. Convex lens. Another name is converging lens. Converging. C O N. V E R G I N G converging lens. The first type of lens is convex lens. Second type is concave, concave lens. Concave lens. 
diverging lens its name is another name is diverging lens diverging lens one is converging lens other one is diverging lens is it clear yes, now i am going to define what is uh, what you mean by convex lens and converging lens definition i am going to give i only give the types now i am going to give definition how can we differentiate or distinguish or how can we recognize how or how can we separate okay so i am going to discuss about in seventh point first one convex lens so type a convex lens yeah or converging lens what you mean by converging converging means converging means something is concentrate to single point just maybe everything is spreaded it will be concentrated to single point that is that's a term mean by converging spread something is spreaded will be collected to one point okay now i am draw the picture of convex lens This is the convex lens. It has two uh, surfaces. Two surfaces. Both are bulged out. Both sides are bulged out. We told no convex means bulged out. One side bulged out, other side is bulged out. Don't be confused with mirror. Mirror is different. Lens. Okay, both sides are. Why it is known as converging lens? Means when light falls on, when light rays falls on, convex lens. It will be converts every light into single point. This type of lens is known as convex lens or converging lens. when light falls on a lens if the light rays are converging into one point such type of lens is known as converging lens are you clear so write down if light rays fall on a lens fall on lens the light rays are the light rays are converged into converged to a point converged to a point such lenses are known as converging lens or converging lens or convex lens are you clear So I'm going to second type in the seventh topic B, concave mirror. You know, concave lens, not mirror. Mirror is different, lens is different. Concave lens. So it has two sides, both are bulged in. Both are bulged in. This is the shape of convex lens. When light rays falls on a concave lens, instead of cur converging, it will diverge the light. This type of lens is known as. 
कॉन्केव लेंस और डाइवर्जिंग लाइन लेंस आयु क्लियर ओके सो यू कैन राइट वेन लाइट फॉर सोने वेन लाइट रेस फॉल ऑन ए लेंस द लाइट रेस आर द लाइट रेस आर डाइवर्ज द वे diverged away when light falls on a lens the light rays are diverged away it is spread away instead of converging diverging such lenses are known as such lenses are known as concave lens ओके इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर ओके कैन आई मूव अप इज ओनली वेरी बेसिक एंड वेरी सिंपल टू there is no much if you have any confusion you can ask then and there no problem i'm very happy to listen to your doubts too i think these are very simple that's why i'm just moving up okay then eighth point erect and inverted image erect and inverted image erect and inverted image erect and Im inverted images yeah if you look into some glasses so you see plain glass looking glass looking mirror you just see how you appear your sides will be interchanged am i right but you are had had then Yeah, yeah, but you have heard and uh, legs are inverted. No. No. That type of uh, image is known as erected image. How it is upside down should be same way. Laterally may be interchanged, but size will be head should be head, leg should be leg. You got my point? Yeah. so that is erect image erect image if image is not if image is not changing its sides it sides in upside down this image is not changing its sides in upside down means it should not be ulta it is straight only such image is known as erect image so can i i will give you an example if you just place an object think this is a object this is head think it is head this is foot you place a mirror just draw with me you can understand it so you place a object here you and you place the mirror so its image will form here so image is formed as it is no interchange of upside down this is known as erect image so this is object this is erect image 
आर इक्ले ओके फाइन बट इन सम मिरर्स एंड लेंसेस वी कैन सी आवर साइज विल बी अपसेट डाउन आई डोंट नो वेदर यू हैव सीन यू हैड विल बी उल्टा इन सम मिरर्स और सम लेंसेस इफ यू लुक यू कैन सी दैट यूर इमेज इज लिटरली ऑपोजिट सच इमेज आर नोन एज इनवर्टेड इमेजेस विच अपसेड and down will be interchanged is head and foot are interchanged such image because if you place so inverted image second type inverted image means if you place a object in front of lens or mirror think i just placed in front of a lens you can see image in this way foot will become head head will become foot so this is object we place in front of a lens this is image formed this image is known as inverted image are you clear okay so keep in mind there are two types of images erected image and uh, inverted image erect image and inverted image okay can i move up yeah in that case we are moving to the last portion of this topic sunlight components of sunlight Ninth point, I think. Ninth point. Components of sunlight. Components of sunlight. How many colors? Colors are in sunlight? Yeah. There are seven components. You know seven one, I think. First one, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange. red the spectrum there are seven colors in uh sunlight there violet indigo blue that's all sunlight components of sunlight somewhere disturbance is there please mute your mic please please okay that's outside please mute your mics please disturbance is there please all children please mute somewhere many disturbance please mute your mics please please okay fine always be careful disturbance should not be there from your side okay fine so this common sunlight so uh we have an experience of newton disk newton disk to show to prove components of there are seven components so newton disk is uh 10th point uh to prove newton disk to prove there are there are seven components to prove there are seven components in white light or sunlight so newton disk is a experiment to prove there are seven components in white light take a disk a 
a disc and paint this is disc in seven colors seven colors here violet indigo blue green yellow orange red make a disc like this fix with a rotator we have the capacity to rot rotate it just rotate what you experience only white color will be visible no particulars will be visible when you rotate it at such a particular speed instead of sub separate color we can see only white color so this is known as newton disc to prove there are seven colors in sunlight are you with me yeah so you can note down okay so you can note down newton disc is using for to prove there are seven components in white light or sunlight how you do take a disc paint seven colors rotate with a particular speed then we can see only white light so that is experiment so experiment uh, where is color a disc with seven colors of with zero color a disc with the seven colors of with zero then what to do rotate with a, a particular speed rotate with a particular speed observation that is experiment part this is experiment part or activity part so what is observation what is observation white color uh, only white color will be visible. visible observation only white color will be visible okay from this observation what is conclusion so conclusion sunlight has seven component colors that is conclusion sunlight has seven component colors sunlight has seven component colors like so see the way we are writing exam in experiment newton disc purpose what is purpose of this experiment to prove there are seven component colors then this is the structure experiment how we are doing color a disc with seven colors of zero then rotate so experiment part is over so first part is purpose purpose of experiment why we are doing newton disc experiment to prove there are seven common lights then experiment part with picture we have done then from that observation when we rotate this one we can observe only white color will be from the observation what do you conclude conclusion sunlight has seven component colors so you have to write examination question comes like this explain newton disc so we have to know purpose what is purpose of this experiment experiment part with a picture then observation conclusion so it's very clear am i right yes, are you clear yes, so the chapter is over just follow the uh, chapter is over just follow the notes thank you may god bless you